Hey guys, this video is going to show how students can take a PDF that you have and be able to type on it, highlight on it, write on it, anything you would want them to do. Um, I showed you how to do that with Word documents and PowerPoints, but I found a way that they can do it with a PDF inside Canvas without having to use any extra tools. I will start this by saying it's a, not very intuitive, but it is useful and would be able to be used in your classroom with a little bit of training um, for the students. So the first thing you would need to do is create an assignment. So I'm just going to hit my plus sign. I'm going to call this integer operations. And then you want to upload your PDF that you would like them to have. So I'm going to go here to the little paper and click upload document. And then I'm going to insert my file and hit submit. Um, you can give it however many points you want to give it, what category, um, but submission type, you want to make sure you click online and click file upload. And then I'm just going to pick a due date of tomorrow and click save and publish. I'm also going to go and add it to my modules just because that's where what my students see um, and how they access their assignments. So I'm going to click the plus sign and I'm going to click my integer operations um, assignment that I just made and also make sure that it is published. So let's look at what the student's point of view says. So in the student view, if they go to my modules and they click integer operations, this is how they would get the access to type. So it's not very intuitive, but that's okay. So we're going to click on the PDF and you'll see that it downloaded down here. We're gonna click submit assignment and they are gonna upload the blank file. I know that sounds kind of odd, but we're gonna upload the blank file and we're gonna click submit assignment. And this is how they get access to actually editing. So they wanna to go to submission details and then they wanna click view feedback and then clicking these two arrows You'll see that they have access to all of the things that we have access to in SpeedGrader. Um, so they can obviously type, so integers are positive and negative whole numbers. Um, one thing that's definitely useful, especially for, I'm sure, some ELA teachers, is there's a highlighter tool here um, that they can highlight, oh, if it'll let me do it. <laughs> yeah, so they can highlight um, text that they wanna highlight. Um, they don't have to highlight everything. They can delete the highlight if they want to. There's also a strike through tool. Um, so if they want to strike through text, they are able to do that too. Um, so definitely some useful things. They can add comments. They can also draw. All of that is there for them to do. Um, so once they've done all of their annotations or answered the questions, typed in, whatever you wanted them to do, they want to hit these two arrows back. And you can see that the writing is all still there. It's just smaller. That's why I have them click the, those little two arrows. And then you have them resubmit. And then it'll say the correct time on here. Um, let's go see what it looks like for you. So you go back. I'm going to leave student view. And we want to go to speed grader for this assignment. And you can see, obviously, my test student is the only one that submitted it. You can see that I can see their strike through, I can see their highlight, I can see their text box, their drawing. So those annotations save for them once they've resubmitted the second time. So again, it's not necessarily the most intuitive way. It's a little convoluted, but it does work. Um, if you have questions, please let me know, and I hope you enjoyed this video.